This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and joining me today is Dr. Chris Zhu. He is the CEO of Thermogenesis. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is THMO on NASDAQ. Dr. Zhu, thank you for joining me today. How are you holding up? Uh, thank you for inviting me. We're very good. Oh, good to good to see. I mean, look, you've been busy. We <laughs> put about put out a lot of news. Uh, yes, uh, in fighting with the virus and uh, trying to uh, help the uh, society uh, to do what we can. Perfect. All right. Well, we're going to get into that in a little bit, but first, you know, uh, let's get a quick overview of thermogenesis, and then we'll go from there. Yes, uh, thermogenesis is a is a company with about thirty years of uh, history. The company is resided in Sacramento, California, and uh, has been doing lots of uh, uh, cutting edge technologies in biomedical field. The company has always been in the frontier on the newest technology for the last 30 years. And uh, we, we're trying to keep top, top. Very good. So with that, um, you know, we last had you on uh, back in December of 2019. Uh, I know that seems like, uh, you know, years ago at this point, but uh, let's get a quick update. What, what, are, what are some of the highlights from the company in, let's say, the last three, three and a half months? Yeah, sure. Uh, again, we are a medical device company, so, so we are always trying to look into um, what we do so that focus on cell-based therapeutic area, the, the cell gene therapy. But we have to make a quick change of course during the last three months, like almost all the major enterprises in the U.S. We are really hit hard by the, the pandemics of uh, coronavirus. But the good thing for us is uh, we do have a large uh, scope of uh, expertise in the field and uh, we can mobilize our resource as well as our expertise to look at the global level and trying to bring the, the best technology that enable us to fight against the virus. And we are in a, such a, a busy schedule right now trying to bring the, the, the diagnostic kit to the market as soon as we possibly can. You just, that's a perfect segue. So, you know, I just wanted to pull up right here. So on, I believe it was on uh, March uh, 31st, uh, the company announced uh, that it has notified the FDA of its intent to distribute the company's rapid COVID-19 point of care test kit. So I'd love to little learn a little bit more about what this means for the company. And then also how your test kit compares to maybe some of the other competitors out there. Is it a similar kit? Is there slight variation? Because as we all know, there's a very, very big need for as many kits out there as we can get. Yeah, yeah. So so let me lay the, the ground for, for people to understand these pandemics. Uh, I mean, there are plenty of news trying to find out the science behind this. But this, this virus is certainly different than many other early viruses. The, the key difference is that it has such a long kind of, kind of a dormant period. So, so in this period, which is about uh, up to 14 days, people are asymptomatic, but they still carry those, those virus. And that, that's really the cause of this really rapid expansion uh, of uh, infected persons. So knowing that there's a, a demanding need to, to find where the people are in risk sooner than later. And we need to have a very rapid assay to tell whether the, the people you encounter are healthy or they are in risk. So that, that's the, the fundamental need. And the, the, the current market has really classified into two different categories. One is the so-called DNA test. It really taking a swab out of the mouth or at the back of the nasal passage and to look whether you have a virus on the spot per se. The, the challenge is that that requires a specific machine and it takes certain time to complete this. You will not, not get in this uh, result on the spot. And uh, the cost certainly is uh, pretty significant. It could be several hundreds. And the other type of assay is really looking at if someone has seen the virus either at this moment or in the past, so that they would have a response towards the virus. And that's the assay we are developing, looking for humans' antibody response against the virus. 
So that will tell you two things, whether that the person have an ongoing infection or this person may have seen the virus and he never realized that. So it has various different implications. And the, the key issue, the, the key benefit is that that makes this assay so powerful is that it really is not requiring any sophisticated instrument. It can be done on the spot and really require one droplet of blood from your fingertip. And it's very much like a home pregnancy test or a glucose test, lots of people are familiar with. And you can read the results within two minutes to, to up to 10 minutes. Right, So, and that's what you're saying that your point of care test will do is that it's a rapid diagnostic, correct? Yeah, and the wisdom, I, we expect that will be in the range, probably will be even less than $30 in, in that, that range. It makes it very affordable, so that's number one. Make it unnecessary to go to the hospital, which by now probably is the least place you want to go. And uh, people are quarantined and uh, hopefully we, we can find the uh, logistics so that can resolve the, the issue, uh, avoiding people to go to crowded place to get it tested. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask this because I'm sure a lot of my audience members want to know, and what, what's then the process from here? So you announced that you, you, you know, you filed with the, with the FDA. So now what, you know, is it a, a month long process, weeks long process? Like how soon can we get these tests on the market? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, there's, there are lots of uh, developer in, in rapid assays in the market. So there's a uh, you, uh, use under, uh, uh, there's a emergency use authorization from FDA and there's also, there are a few other approach to, to get the, the, the kits to the market as soon as possible can. So, so uh, thermogenesis being a FDA certified establishment in the medical device field and uh, we are following those. So currently we have file all the files with uh, FDA, but we are doing something more stringent than, than many of the uh, foreign testing kits. So that means we have a rigid internal quality uh, and validation process we, uh, we impose on ourselves before we, uh, we uh, start to sell this. And just to remind the audience, although this kit is itself is very simple, as I said, like a pregnancy test, but the, the first application under the, the emergency use, and it's really for the primary physician or, or a point of care, uh, it's true that that's where it's gonna be used in the, in the first place. We do hope to, to file a normal application to get this as a standard application so that we can eventually have that directly shipped to any of the doorstep. And, and, and just, you know, cause I, I mean, for me, even I'm curious, you know, and, and I'm sure a lot of people are, you know, what's the, what's the kind of the time frame around that? I mean, from yeah, what you yeah. can tell us, I know that, you know, look, we're under regulation. I don't want yeah. you to say anything you can't say, but what's, what's like a rough timetable then? Yeah, yeah, we certainly uh, expect to have that uh, ready to to go out within uh, in in April. And it could be as soon as within two weeks. Got so it. so so it's gonna be uh, goes to the market very uh, very soon. And uh, there is already a significant demand on that. Yeah, as you can you can you can see, because uh, many of us. Uh, are quarantined at home. So, so there's a, a great need to know if, for instance, if I'm having flu symptom, whether this is just a regular flu or this is uh, related to COVID-19. Right. And without having to drive through a long waiting line, even in the, in, even in the uh, drive-thru, whether I can have the quick result even though this is a pre-screen, and we consider that as a pre-screen, because this detect a person's response to the virus. It's not detecting the virus per se. So, but it's it's giving a, a, a quick pre-screen that that give you a peace in mind. Gotcha. And eventually, just to add on that. I think that the nation will eventually reopen and uh, everybody will be going back to uh, to work. And if we can see in Germany and people already start to issue a so-called 
healthy card or, or, or you know, uh, healthy passport. What it tells you is if people are asymptomatic and, uh, you know, you through a period like 14 and you know you're, you, you don't have any issues and actually you do have this antibody, that could be a benefit for the individual. That means you, you may have encountered this virus through unaware contact, but you develop a immunity against this virus. So if I have to pick who will be able to go back to work uh, with minimal risk, these are the group of persons that can come back to work with a, a, a protective immunity. So it has a several different implications moving, moving forward. Absolutely. So with that, Dr. Zhu, where can my audience go and find more information about thermogenesis and uh, just continue to follow along on your progress? So, so the, the uh, easiest is go to thermogenesis.com uh, and uh, we were constantly having product updates there. And the product is marketed, co-marketed with thermogenesis and immune site, which is uh, I M M U N E C Y T E immune sites.com. So, so from both sites, you can, you can get product updates. Perfect. Dr. Zhu, thank you so much for joining me today. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yeah.